you. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Man, all bullshit aside, I just got done. I just got done killing legs, man. Yo, what is up, people? You know, I ain't fucking, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all don't know who I am yet, but uh, my name is Sean, and this is my channel, The Realist Physiques. Like I said, we're about to talk about pre-workouts, what I take, should you take them or not, do I recommend them, all that bullshit. So, you don't want to get fucked by pre-workouts. Let me tell you why. Pre-workouts, I don't know if you guys, if this will focus on this, but if you look at this, pre-workouts are missing, fucking, they're just missing everything. For example... C4 is probably one of the most common pre-workouts to take. It's great for beginners. You get a decent workout out. Oh, fuck me. Anyways, you get a decent workout from um, this pre-workout. But it has only one and a half grams of beta alanine. I recommend, me personally, you take at least three to five grams of beta alanine. This has one and a half. Also, this has one gram of creatine. I'm not sponsored by them in any way, but I hope this doesn't fuck up my chances. In the end, who cares? Um, what what the fuck are you gonna do with the one gram of creatine? Are you kidding me? That is a fifth of the daily recommended amount. One gram, like <laughs> fuck that shit. All right. So here I have, it's my favorite cabin, here I have my pre-workout. I make my own pre-workout. I use this digital scale. I weigh them out and I know exactly what's in my pre-workouts. No proprietary blends, no added bullshit, sugar, unnecessary crap, fillers. And um, me, I get my raw, uh, fuck, I can't talk, I just came from the gym. My pre-workout is still flowing through me, as you can see. Um, I get mine from True Nutrition. Let me tell you what I take. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. Nor am I trying to be. They just got tested fucking supplements, so you get a better fucking peace of mind, I guess. Sleep better. So right now, I take 50 gram, 50, 50 milligrams of uh, caffeine. I take one gram of L-tyrosine. I take one gram of acetyl L carnitine. I take one gram of arginine. I take one I take five grams of creatine, three grams of citrulline malate, and three grams of beta alanine. That is all the supplements I take other than pre workout or <clears throat> other than protein if you consider that a supplement. Let me tell you the main reason other than what I already said why I don't use pre-made pre-workouts their caffeine levels guys if you are not experienced when it comes to caffeine and pre-workouts do not start off like i did taking fucking a scoop every day for a year straight you will get mad insomnia and i try to wean myself off of it but finally i'm able to sleep eight hours again a day I went through a phase since February this year where I couldn't sleep more than four hours because I went from taking 400 milligrams of caffeine unknowingly to taking uh, 50. I started getting all types of heart pain, uh, heart rate just pounding through my chest. I could hear it at night. Just my, I could literally hear my heart breathing at night, and uh, my mind was racing all the, racing all the time. I thought I was stressed out, but. Through research, I found out the real reason. That being said, beginners, people in general, I wouldn't recommend you taking more than 200 milligrams in a pre-workout, even if you have a high tolerance. Reason being, your heart will be depending on that caffeine. Even with 200, it's gonna happen. You should probably cycle off of it, but uh, 
That's my experience. For months, I've had insomnia. I recently got over it from AT, actually. Sleeping out in the field, working 12-hour shifts, actually helped me keep my mind off the caffeine. And like I said, it started to make my head go a little nuts. And now I was able to sleep, so I'm better now. So, guys, I would definitely recommend everybody make your own pre-workout. You're getting fucked in so many ways, man. So many ways by lack of dosage, um, fillers. It's that new shit I heard about, like, probably not new, but uh, proteins being, like, that bullshit I had for years also. It's old as fuck. I found out that that, uh, I found out that that only has half the pro protein it says it does. It's crazy. Guys, please comment, subscribe, like, let me know what I can work on in my videos. I know my intro sucks and my editing is bad, but I'm going to be working on that soon. I do all this off my phone. So if you like the videos, like them, subscribe. I got a lot more shit coming. I'm going to be posting a video of calisthenics, how-tos, and quick ad routines that I do. If you can see, I'm a big fan. Fucking lighting sucks. Even though I just came from the field, I still was getting a decent workout in. I tracked macros, but I couldn't do that, so I'm pretty sure I put on a decent amount of body fat. I'm usually around 8%, 7%. But uh, I'm going to post a few pictures of just like some things, some pictures I've taken of uh, 860s. So that being said, guys, peace out. Research, research, research. Peace. Hey, I'm back, guys. I ended up getting some unexpected visitors, but uh, I'm not sure where I left off. I know I was talking about pre-workouts. Anyways, I think I covered everything. If I think I forgot some, feel free to comment. That being said, guys, stay real and uh, subscribe, like, comment. Peace out.